You ready, Mark? Okay. Call to order the November 30th Board of Ed meeting. We'll start with the Pledge of Allegiance. Dana. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Class of 71 is here to make a presentation. Very exciting. They are, had their 40th reunion recently and decided to endow a scholarship and raised a whole lot of money quickly. So they're here tonight to present us with a big check, which is something I've always wanted. <laughs> very, very, very happy you're here tonight. So. Uh, if you're ready to film, you want to come on up. And we also, as you're coming up, we just also want to acknowledge that not only have you raised money for a scholarship, but you've also determined to give back to the students, give back to the community. So I've actually watched you on our Go TV television station when you've actually been working with the students, presenting to the students, and you've all done such an admirable job serving as mentors and sharing your life experience and sharing your, your jobs and occupations. And I know it meant a great deal to our students, and now the community has the benefit of seeing you all really give back. So we can't thank you enough, and we're so excited to welcome you here this evening. So everybody give a round of applause as they walk to the podium. Well, hi, hi, everybody. I'm Tom Strauss. I'm, of course, from the class of 71. And I'm here with Linda Matthews and Rosalie Marcus and Andy Munitz and Robin Diaz. And um, we were all um, instrumental in uh, organizing and making the, uh, uh, the recent reunion, which we had in September, a big success. Um, when we started this effort, um, we had no, we really didn't know how to reach anybody. We didn't have any email addresses, because, of course, they didn't exist at the time. <laughs> um, we ended up um, managing to get 200 people to come to the reunion, of which around 100 and 150 paid for dinner, and then another 50 people showed up after dinner. And it actually was, um, it took place at, at Doubletree in Tarrytown. And people were partying until 6 in the morning, which was <laughs> quite some people came in from all over the country. Responsibly, yeah. Responsibly of course. No, it was really terrific. Um, and um, it, it, it was really a, a terrific thing, people who had not seen each other for literally 40 years. And it's, um, it is a, a great pleasure to be here in this school, in this building, because I started my education 53 years ago here in this building, which is really quite, quite unbelievable. <laughs> I have not been back since uh, whenever that was, 50, 48 years ago, something like that. And this was a classroom, and it will be again. Ah, oh, OK. So um, when, when we did um, start working on the reunion, it was a matter of not just organizing a dinner, but it was organizing a weekend, um, because we knew people were coming from far from very far away. But it was also, we um, thought from the get-go that we wanted to do something for the community, namely for, for, for the high school. And the first thought we had was, how about just collect a little bit of extra money and we'll plant a tree? And that was actually my idea. And um, that quickly morphed into something uh, more meaningful than that. Um, we had um, come to learn that a number of high school students had won the um, Intel Science prize, which was very, very impressive. And um, when, when we think of, a, when we saw that, we recognized that there are a lot of, of um, achievers, uh, academic achievers. And in um, our class, we, we like to think that in our class of 1971, there were um, some high achievers, both academically and in sports. And we recognized the challenges that achievers face which includes um, what, what to do about a career, and if you're thinking about it, uh, going to college, how expensive that can get. So that is what helped us formulate some ideas about how we might be able to give back to the community. And Linda Matthews is going to talk a little bit about um, the initiatives with, that we came up with and, and have implemented, so. Thank you, Tom. I'm Linda Matthews, class of 1971. 
We decided to do two things uh, as a way to give back to our community in the Osning High School. First, we chose to do uh, leadership panels for the seniors, which I participated in. That was an afternoon of workshops uh, during our reunion weekend where a large group from our class shared their experiences and discussed school, life, and career choices with the students. Secondly, we decided to create the Osning High School Class of 1971 Scholarship Fund to reach out to today's student. It was clear to all of us that this was a way to pay it forward. Susan Cannell, the chairperson of our scholarship committee, who would love to be here tonight but resides in Shaker Heights, Ohio, began the process of working with Principal Josh Mandel in the Osning High School Guidance Department to create the actual scholarship guidelines. Working together, we reached out to our classmates through our reunion, invitations, email, and our website, and also on Facebook, which clearly we didn't have in 1971 either. <laughs> By the time of our reunion, we had collected over $1,000 in contributions. And I'm Rosalie Marcus, and an alumnus of Austin High School graduate, and also I went to Roosevelt from kindergarten all the way up, and I was recognizing the little hole over there as being the chimney I used to play in in all the rooms. <laughs> Going like, which room was this? Um, and there was actually a large Roosevelt contingent at our reunion. Um, our reunion was so successful, and we had so many attendees that we collected more funds than we actually needed to meet all of our expenses. So we offered everyone at the party a $20 cash rebate or an opportunity to join in and make a donation to the scholarship fund right then and there. To everyone's delight, we ended up with almost everyone donating their rebate. And then one of our classmates offered to match all the donations and therefore it doubled our total. He unfortunately wants to remain anonymous, but it still made the big difference. So that night alone, with the matching gift, we collected in the end, $5,600 for the scholarship fund. And to date, we now have received contributions totaling $15,071. Notice the 71, that's 1971. <laughs> and we are more than pleased to present this check tonight to the Austin School District. And so, could the president of the school board, Bill Kress, please come up here to receive our check, as well as Dr. Glassman, I'd love to have you come up. I don't see Josh Mandel here this evening. I was hoping he would come, that he could join us. So we can give you this check. So if we could all stand up here. Oh, you want, can you join me in this little corner here? Oh dear, I'm below the check. Okay. Well, that, oh, sorry. No, I can stand on my toes and appear much shorter, but we want everyone to see this. And we'll Rosalie see made you this. Too. Yes, I'm the artist that made this in the end. Still. After seeing the lottery winners today, I said, oh great, we're going to have one of those checks. <laughs> okay, so you got that? We wanted our photo moment because also we wanted to use, thank you very much, you can stay here while we finish. We wanted to use this photograph also to, uh, for press releases because we actually want to try to reach out not just now, but into the future. And we're not only thinking about our own class, but we're thinking about the future of other classes and how we would like that to go, uh, to go. and Tom is going to talk about that uh, at the end. Um, we are very happy to give you this check for $15,071 and it's for the new Ossining High School Class of 71 Scholarship Fund. That's a long name. So everyone on the Scholarship Fund Committee wanted to be here tonight and couldn't. We come from all over the country. Susan Cannell, our chairman, as Linda said, is uh, lives out in Shaker Heights, Ohio. Madeline Remy, our co-chair, lives in Atlanta, Georgia. And another member of our scholarship committee, Mike Weil, lives in Albuquerque, New Mexico. So we're an amazingly spread out group. We had people from all over the country who came to our reunion and managed to do everything over the internet, but they wanted to be here. I'm sorry, they can't. So um, speaking for all of us and our entire class, Tom, Linda, and I are all very pleased to announce that the first two scholarships that are being made will be to two deserving graduates this coming spring. And one will receive $2,000 scholarship and the other will receive a laptop computer. 
Then we intend to continue for the, at least the next five years. We're going to take that money and, and spread it out. And then for our 45th reunion, which everyone now insists we're going to have, we're going to continue to um, continue our fundraiser and offer scholarships for even longer. So that's our long-term goal. Okay. And then Tom wanted to conclude. If you would like to sit down now, you can, or if you can just stand here and hang with us. So j just very briefly, as Rosalie said, the, the objective of actually coming here this evening and, and handing you this, this check, um, really, we, we would love other classes to, um, to learn about this and tr to try to one-up us and, give even, and view this as a very small amount and try to raise even more money every year when they have their reunions and hopefully in this school dist district and others um, maybe we can get a lot of a lot more money raised for the kids who are graduating from school but so. in general something that you had brought up and is so important that this is a public school system and one of the things that Tom <coughs> pointed out was that this is an alumni raising for public school we don't have an endowment but why not why not have everybody who graduates, if they can, to come back and give back to their community where they grew up. We, Ossining meant a lot to us. It was a diverse, incredible town. And we all grew up, and a lot of us looked back and went, can you believe we lived through that? And, and so those of us who are able to, that's what we want to do. And we like the concept of giving to a public school, not just a private school. So we sort of wanted that to grow, you know. Um, and there was one thing you said near the end that you were going to say. Thank you. <laughs> and we are thrilled to be here. So thank you. Thank, thank, thank you very you. much for thank allowing us to come.